Welcome to Kentucky Brew Review! Oh, that's the first one I've done of the year. Feels good. Mm -hmm. Feels good. Say your name. I'm Radar. Special K, and tonight we're doing Dogfish Head Camp Amp. It's Camp a Amp. milk stout brewed with graham crackers, cinnamon, marshmallows, cocoa powder, and vanilla. 6.5% alcohol by volume. Whenever they say stuff like that on the bottle, I really wonder if they just took like a box of graham crackers and crushed them up, put them in a muslin bag and dunked them in, or oh. if they just took the stuff that's made that you make into graham crackers. That's motor oil. Jesus. Like, do you take just the ingredients and dunk that in there, or do you just throw in a bunch of graham crackers? No, they go to, they go to Walmart, they're like, hey, whenever you have crushed up bad graham crackers, give them to us, we're going to show well, them yeah. here. You have any uh, graham cracker seconds? We need those. You call Nabisco. Nabisco, give me all your broken <laughs> graham crackers, please. Those just go in the, the bottom of the box. It's that fine. smells delicious. That does smell like everything it says. It smells like graham crackers a lot. Lots of vanilla in there. It smells That's like weird. Out. It smells like there's dairy in there, too. Lactose. Like, it smells like cooked, like, not cooked, but it smells like graham crackers smell when you first open the pack. Kind of mm -hmm. crispy. Yeah. Heads, uh, That's weird. khaki. Let's do it. Mm. Not as sweet as I expected. That's a plus. That is the proper. I'm, I'm thinking that's the proper amount of sweetness. I'm mm -hmm. very happy with that. Um, vanilla, chocolate, chocolate. There's definitely some lactose or some kind that of. That is milk the in there. chocolatiest chocolate I think I've ever had in a beer. I just like that. You get darkly roasted malts in there, but they're not overpowering. They're not like burnt tasting. Mm -hmm. Um. It's just really good. It's a really well balanced out. It almost reminds me of a nitro. A little bit. It's weird. It does. It does taste like a s'more. That's really odd. Is it s'more or s'mores? Schmo. Like if you just have one of them. Because s'more sounds wrong to me for some reason. S'mores. S'more. Want some s'mores? You want s'more? S'more. 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 Anyway. <laughs> This is an excellent milk style. Um, I like it a lot. Price is fifteen dollars for a six pack, which is not bad for $15 a. Fifteen dollars is on like the the medium side of what I would be willing to pay for a six pack, you know. But you know, it's six point five percent, and it's a beefy style. That's yeah, a beefy style. that is also true, I suppose. Really, what gets me is is it doesn't just taste like one thing on the bottle. Because a lot of times when, when you see a bottle that's got like, uh, this tastes like this, 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 and this, it actually only tastes like one of those things, and sometimes not very good. Surprisingly smooth. Yeah. Uh, drinkable. Dare I call the flavor complex? I'm gonna give this a pretty high score. Like, it's gonna be up there. I don't, I don't think this is drinkable. It is drinkable. It's pretty fair. It's drinkable though. It's, I could drink it, but I wouldn't want to down a bottle of it. Oh, I could down a bottle of it. I don't know about that. Uh, I'm going with a nine. Much more powerful. A nine? A nine. No, I, I kind of see where you're coming from. I am going to give it an eight and a half, though. Mm -hmm. Price. Mm -hmm. I took a half point off the price. but It's really good. I haven't seen it at too many places either. So um, I got this one at Liquor Barn. It was kind of hidden. There was like one or two left. Okay. Um, I think I would go for a whole six pack though. Like even with the price being what it is, and I do have a refrigerator dedicated to beer now. It's so smooth. I'm gonna have to put something in there. Yeah. <laughs> well, anything at the back of that refrigerator freezes, so make sure you put the high. I have noticed that. Yeah, put the I, high BB I, stuff I discovered in the back. that uh, with some cougar bait. Actually. I keep my I keep the KBS at the back. Never freezes. Nah, that's just that's uh, that's where I've been putting um, all the all the mixing stuff in. Yeah. Uh, like simple syrup and stuff like that, it just doesn't freeze. It's like a bottle of glycol. <laughs> uh, uh, it's excellent. Highly recommend it. Definitely. I would argue that this would be a good stout for somebody who's getting into stouts. Because um, it's not too sweet and there's no flavor that's that is true. particularly is, prominent. It's so well balanced. This feels like it could be a crowd pleaser. Yeah, it's well balanced for what it is. Plus, you know, the artwork's kind of cool in the bottle. <laughs> Yeah, no, this is a really, really good choice. I think, uh, I haven't seen this anywhere, but I think this would be, this would do really well in, like, gas stations and stuff, because 
I think it really it really is kind of a crowd pleaser. Is that supposed to be Powdered Toast Man? I think that might be where they got the uh, the idea. Because that 100%... Toast like, Man! How many characters do you know of that have got bread, bread for, a for a face? Powdered Toast Man. That's about he it. He flies backwards. <laughs> oh, man. Just like us. What cartoon did he show up on first? Ren Stimpy. Was it Ren Stimpy? Yeah, he was, that's where he was from. Man. It was like one of the little shorts they had. He was always in Powder Toast Man. I feel like he's been on other stuff though, hasn't he? Nope. No, just Ren and Stimpy. I'm sure he's made appearances on those shows, but I, like, but he's from from Man. Ren and Stimpy. Ren and Stimpy. I used to watch that when I was really little. Had no idea. <laughs> it was uh, as nasty as I'm it a, was. Yeah, I'm a bit older than you. My dad would not. Uh, he still wouldn't let me watch it. So, uh, yeah, I highly watched rec- it with my dad. <laughs> highly recommend this beer. Go out and get this beer. Um, Carbonation, uh, like everything about it is well balanced. Even the carbonation is like perfect. Mm-hmm. It just makes it super drinkable. You say drinkable. I'm still saying it's a it's it's more on the line of a sipper. You've been drinking. You just sit there. You've been drinking too many light, light beers, bro. Yeah, that could be also. They're really cheap. I can't I can't help. You need it. to try. You know, we have an entire keg of Cougar Bay in our brand, oh, new, brand new keg reader. Good God. Oh, I need to see the new keg You know, I made, I made beer cheese with cougar bait, mm. and I also made beer bread with cougar bait. That's such a good idea. I, a, I, was like, I have a whole keg. A why, keg why? of cougar bait. Cougar bait. <laughs> cougar bait. <laughs> Can't get that cougar bait. Look, <laughs> country boy, if you, if you want to, if you're having a hard time deciding what your next name should be, name a beer that. Go cooter? for it. Is that going to be our, our Kentucky Burview beer, cougar bait? Cooter bait, yeah. <laughs> we need a brew to make, make it into Burby's Cooter bait. <laughs> what flavor is it going to be? Um, depression? Depression flavored. Uh, no, no, I think it's got to be like cinnamon flavored or something. Mm-hmm. It's got to be something just off the wall. It doesn't make any sense at all. All right, well, that's been our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment right there. Don't forget to hit that like button. I'm Special K. I'm Radar. Thanks for watching. watching.